out of folks watching Deuce and Guns. I'm down in the range you can see, and I'm going to test out the one of the few options for extended magazines for the Marlin 795. So I'm going to test this out. This one is made by ProMag. Usually ProMag has a, a poor history, a poor reputation. So we're going to test it out, first of all. Of course, I've already cleaned this. I went through a whole cleaning process on a live stream not too long ago, a few days ago, and I want to go ahead and prove to you that, first of all, it is a good working firearm by using the factory 10 round magazine. Okay, got 10 rounds here. I have a target, oh, about 15 yards away. Not that far away at all, honestly, just for fun. Okay, 10 rounds, check that out first. Make sure that the rifle actually functions because that is a important part of the testing process. All right, 10 rounds, perfect. Now let's see how, let's see how the 25 rounder does. Okay, goes in, locks in, no problem. It chambered the first round. Let me make sure, yep, first round was chambered. <laughs> there we go. All right, same target, of course. Go, we got one target up there. It didn't lock back, but that was all 25 rounds. All 25 rounds. Huh. Good to go. Try that again. Okay, folks, this time around, I actually counted out 25 rounds of ammo to make sure that I'm actually just putting in 25 rounds of ammo. But it worked flawlessly. I was pretty impressed. Way to go, Pro Mag. You know, I have a couple other Pro Mag made magazines, and they've been fine as well. I've got one from my Ruger LCP. That thing is fine. I've got one for a, no I don't, but a friend of mine has one for his SIG and it's fine too, it's fine too. So maybe the reputation they have isn't as bad or their actual quality isn't as bad as their reputation that they hold. But man, this thing sucks to load. <laughs> Fun to unload, sucks to load. Now it's got plastic feed lips, so these will wear out. These will wear out. Like the old, the old ones or the uh, factory ones will not. They're, they're nickel plated steel. Okay, we're officially losing the light. So we're gonna do one more 25 round magazine dump here. Loads right up like it should. All right, here we go. Rounds, or 100 rounds, 25 rounds. No problem whatsoever. It doesn't lock on the uh, final the final round. It doesn't have a last round hold open. Okay, well, we're losing a light here, so I've got to pack up and take off, but I will go ahead and load this up again at a future range session. So that will happen right now. Alrighty, folks, now we're gonna try out Thunderbolt, Remington's very own Thunderbolt here. The Some of the cheapest ammo out there on the market. As far as 22 goes, of course, I got 25 rounds and it is freezing outside. So this may, may or may not be a good example since it is in the mid twenties right now. And this Southern boy is freezing his butt off. All right, again, got a target down there. Oh, about 15 yards away. So let's go ahead and it chambered right up. So that should be good to go. All right, that was a full mag. It did not, just like last time, it did not lock the bolt back like it should. Oh, and it's stuck. <laughs> it's, there we go. All right, so it's stuck in there, but it worked. Alrighty, second mag for the Rimpton Thunderbolt here. This will be 100 rounds once this goes through, 100 rounds through this rifle with this magazine. All right, let's get to it. Oh, oh, we got a fail.
Okay, we've got a nose down situation there. See if I can get that. Uh, you can see right there, yep. So nose down. So let me take out that mag and see what's going on there. Well, the round popped back up the second I got it out of the mag well. So let's, let's see what that does here. The chamber, yep, chamber right up. So let's continue moving on. First failure. All right, one failure, not bad. Winchester bulk right there. It is a hollow point brass plated or copper plated. All righty, we have a fail to something. That might be a, an ammo failure. There's a round in there. See if it goes off now. Yep. <laughs> oh. Okay, we've got, we might have some actual aimo issues on this. And that's all she wrote. I believe those were ammo failures because the the actual 22 cartridge was seated in the chamber and the firing pin was hitting. It just wasn't going off. So I think that's a that's an ammo related issue, not a magazine related issue. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, we are back from the range here. It's uh, still cold outside, there's some snow right there, and it's about 55 degrees in a bunker right now. But I've, and I'll take some time to decorate for you guys. But we're back in a bunker after shooting the Pro Mag um, magazine right here. And let me tell you something, this actually works. This actually works. Now, if that's all you need to know, you can cut off the video right now. But if you want some more details about this, keep on trucking. First of all, I have a whole slew of other 22 rifles and a oddball Frankenstein over here that has extended around magazines and they all seem to work. Now, some work better than others. The Remington 597 did not work very well. I have a review of that somewhere. I'll put that in the link in the description below the video. And it, it works okay, but it did have some failures, actually quite a bit of failures. I've not gotten around to trying to clean it up, but out of the box, I try to test everything straight out of the box. But there are still some issues that I want to go over because this thing's not perfect. It's never, they're never going to be perfect. It's either A, too expensive, or B, had to be built to a price point. Those are oh, competing ideas and agendas there. You can never have both. The whole thing is plastic. The follower is plastic. The whole magazine body is, is plastic. The feed lips are plastic. The only thing that's metal on here, from what I can tell, are the two screws at the top here and the spring itself. That's it. Everything else is a plastic. Now, if you look at it, it looks like it might have some reinforcing. I mean, it's, it's stiff. It is a very, very stiff magazine. There's no flex in that at all. Some of these others, I mean, there's some flex in that little guy there, but there's no flex in that at all. I don't know if there's some glass reinforcing in there, maybe some nylon reinforcing, but let me just... Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a little, I think there's a little bit of glass reinforcing in there. Now, I mentioned Phillips wearing out on something else. I can't remember what video it was. But I had a bunch of hate comments about that saying I didn't know anything or, you know, you wouldn't consider a Tapco product to be crap. I'm like, well, sometimes they are. But, you know, basically the plastic wears out. Anybody who's old enough to have lived through the agony of plastic feed lips in a Ruger 1022, they know. They know. You can't have plastic feed lips and expect them to last forever. They just don't. Metal against plastic. The metal will always win. So, the same thing will happen here. Now, along with that, there are some other issues here. Let me go ahead and put my... There we go. There are some other issues that I want to address here. Uh, number two, the problem number two, you know, first one was just it's all plastic. Number two is the fact that the edges there are sharp as heck. Let me find my pointer. There we go. My pointer there. And 
those edges right there when you're loading the magazine up they catch your skin and they will just eat you alive that little thing and what's funny is so does the factory mag the factory mag you're you're going to be peeling skin off if you load this too many times so i highly recommend getting a mag loader that is specific for the 22 cartridge because most of them don't go down this size so get one that's made for 22 and that should really help out a lot for both the factory and the extended magazines and problem number three well three there we go doing kind of an et gang sign there problem number three is that there is no assistant to the spring there's no side cutout like well like this right here your mossberg here you can assist a spring down here and it really relieves the tension there for when you're loading that up to its maximum capability but this doesn't have that so the last 10 rounds you know it's 25 round magazine the first 10 rounds easy the next five rounds are pretty easy and then the last 10 the last 10 rounds in this get pretty difficult and of course you're going right up against these needles here on top and also a fourth issue is the fact that for some reason i don't know why and of course this is all unloaded all these are unloaded by the way but for some reason it never locked back it never locked the the last round hold open never worked when it was shooting now when i pull this back now it works just fine well guys what do you think about that what do you think about the pro mag magazine actually being a decent magazine i was surprised too now of course like i said before it's not gonna last very long or forever at least it will probably last you several thousand rounds but it's not gonna last you forever like the nickel magazine will and they're hard to load but overall it works all right and if you guys know of any other extended round magazines out there in the market that i've not reviewed but especially if it's something for a firearm i already own go ahead and let me know about that in the comment box below the video because i would love to test those those are those are my my bread and butter as far as what i'm concerned i'm just have a lot of fun doing that doing these extended round magazine reviews so go ahead and do that and if you have any other questions comments or show ideas go ahead and leave that in the comment box below the video and of course as always you guys have a great day see ya <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. CCI Mini Mag. Man, this stuff's good.